People feel that there is again, that, that the territory is too murky, that nothing is really clearly defined. Nino Sekopet works for a charity answering questions from Canadians who are dying. He's pushing for the proposed law to change so that more people would be allowed a medically assisted death, not just those who are already nearing the ends of their lives. Imagine the difficulty of, the, of the, uh, the decision that those individuals need to go through and the family members. So if they decided together that, that the best option is, to, is to, for them to end their life, who are we to say otherwise? Today, the government rather clearly said no to that. Our government firmly believes that medical assistance in dying should not be available for any and all types of suffering. If that was the case, the risk to vulnerable peoples would be greatly increased and frankly would be unacceptable. Government ministers are being pushed on other aspects of their plan too, like why their proposed law doesn't explicitly say doctors don't have to help a patient die if it violates their conscience. I was wondering what, if you might be able to comment on, on why uh, you've chosen to uh, effectively pass the, the buck on to the provinces on something as important as protecting uh, what are fundamental freedoms. There is nothing in our legislation that would compel a medical practitioner to uh, perform uh, medical assistance in dying. The question remains whether a majority of MPs and senators will support the proposed plan so that it can become law. Already there's passionate debate. I'm concerned that this has been rushed. The government insists it's confident that Parliament will get it done by the Supreme Court's June 6th deadline. Canadians would be well served on June 6th not to have a legislative vacuum in the criminal code. Now, another big question hanging over all of this. Some groups say that the Supreme Court clearly expected the government to go further, to allow more people to be eligible for a medically assisted death. The government says that that's wrong, that its plan does comply with the Supreme Court, but it may take someone bringing this issue before the Supreme Court again to settle that debate.